Good morning, all my lovely ladies. The sun is out and I'm feeling so clean and refreshed. Wanted to take a walk and just share some big reflections that I've been having, some good learning lessons I've been taking away from my daily life that I know could really relate and resonate with a lot of you as well. Good self-care practices. I am officially almost nine and a half months pregnant. Belly is, belly's bumping. It's one of those days where it's like, wow, every day could be another day getting me closer to that moment where it could just happen. It could happen at any time now. It's kind of crazy to think about that. Um, but one of the biggest things about pregnancy that I'm noticing and realizing more than anything is <laughs> just how much my hormones affect my mood, right? And how difficult that can be sometimes to regulate and my self-care and to regulate my energy. And I wanted to really just talk about taking responsibility for your energy and for your feelings and for how you come off to other people. Because um, one thing that I've noticed from oh, going through the ups and downs of being pregnant is just how, how easy it is for my energy to affect my partner's energy. And the more that I am recognizing that, the more I know from experience and from being in a relationship for a long time, how pivotal it can be to adjust that in the moment and make that something that I don't just let be a thing, but that I actually take responsibility for and make adjustments on. So to explain that in more clear clarity and also to give you an opportunity to think about this for yourself, if you're in a partnership, and even if you're not in a partnership, but if you have roommates or if you have family members that you live with or you have anyone that you are spending a lot of time around, it's really important to regulate how your energy is showing up for them, right? How your energy is showing up for yourself and how your energy is showing up for them because people are reflectors and people are little energy sponges. <laughs> so the more that we um, are putting out energy. People are reflecting on that, picking that up and actually reflecting that back to us. So case in point yesterday, I was just having one of those days yesterday, right? I'm just tired. I'm uncomfortable, right? I can't move very well. I'm like, mom waddling. I'm waddling with this belly. <laughs> I'm just feeling really out of sorts for no specific reason. And Spencer gets home from work and he's, you know, in a really good mood. And over the course of the night, I could just see his energy shifting and adjusting and his mood changing based on how I was showing up for him, right? Usually when I am in a good place within myself and when I'm taking care of my needs, when I'm feeling in alignment and when I'm feeling in that overflowing cup space, I, when he comes home, I'm feeling really open and happy to see him. I give him a kiss. I to ask him to tell me about his day, right? Maybe I'll go and give him a little massage or something to just kind of love on him and nurture him. But what I was noticing from yesterday is that I was just feeling depleted in myself. And so I was not doing the things that normally I do to show my energy reciprocation of abundance. And from that place, he also started to kind of pull back in his energy and started to be more withdrawn and started to pick up on my little irritations and be irritating on his own, right? Irritated by little things. And it's just so interesting how, how the energy that I brought into that, in, that interaction actually influenced the energy that he picked up on and then became present with in himself as well. And I want to bring this up because I'm not perfect, right? Nobody's perfect. We're human. We all have things to learn. And this is something that is part of just the practice of being a human, right? It's we're we are all constantly managing different lives, different circumstances, different energies, different things that come up on the daily. But it is our responsibility of how we choose to show that to people outside of ourselves, right? If you're having a bad day, it's completely okay to have a bad day, but are you allowing that bad day to ripple out to other people? Or are you able to give yourself the time and energy to focus on bringing yourself back into alignment and coming into that place of peace before you take that space to connect with other people? Oh, I love how the sunlight, sunlight's coming through here, it's so beautiful. <laughs> 
right? And this is a beautiful reminder for me and it's a beautiful reminder for each of you. Taking responsibility for your energy, taking responsibility for the way that you're showing up around the people that you love is gonna make a huge difference in the way that they show up for you and the way that they see you and the way that they respond to you and how they actually move forward with interacting with you. So the second part of this is, this morning I woke up, again, feeling that irritated energy, feeling just a little out of sorts, feeling just kind of uncomfortable and frustrated for no specific reason <laughs> other than just being pregnant and being hormonal, right? But I decided to course correct and do it a little differently today. I really took some time to sit down and journal and reflect for myself. And I really asked myself, why? Why am I feeling out of sorts, right? And I was able to get some clarity on the things that were making me feel uncomfortable and making me feel unsettled. And that's when I chose to take back my power, right? To not give away my power to the external, to not be a victim of my circumstances, but to come back into a place of taking responsibility for making myself happy. And I always know for myself, because I've been doing this for so long, <laughs> that there are three main categories that are gonna make me happy. And I want you to take notes on this and I want you to try it for yourself because it really makes a huge difference. The first part is, are my basic needs being met, right? Am I covering the basics of just what it takes for general self-care? General self-care being, am I eating healthy? Am I exercising? Am I sleeping well? Am I meditating? And am I getting enough water, right? General basics. These have to be taken care of every single day for you to have that baseline foundation of feeling like your needs are met. The second part, second category is, Am I actually connecting with things that bring me joy, right? Things that actually light up my heart and my soul, that make me feel like coming alive. And I was realizing I wasn't doing those things. I was getting caught up in just the day-to-day, -day, what I felt like I had to do, but not actually prioritizing and making time for things that I get to do and that make me really happy. Like taking beautiful nature walks like this and singing and dancing and even cleaning the house, right? Little things that just make me feel really at peace and complete. Talking to girlfriends, connecting with people that I love that light me up and remind me that I'm wonderful and that make me happy, right? Really important to prioritize those needs that you have that just bring you light and joy in your heart because if we aren't taking care of our happiness, we're, we're putting that onto somebody else and we're asking somebody else to make us happy. And that is a recipe for disaster and that's a recipe for codependence. And the third part is making sure that your home environment feels at peace and feels zen and clean, right? So much of how we feel internally is a reflection of how we feel externally and vice versa. So for me, just cleaning my house, really giving myself some time to put things in order on the external instantly helps me feel more connected on the internal. Hold on, we've gotta take a little break here because <laughs> Charlie's found his friends. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this rural life living. We've got some cow friends that Charlie just absolutely loves. Hello, hello. And his little goat friends. <laughs> and he loves playing with them. <laughs> Even though they don't really know how to play. Life on the farm. <laughs> Hi. Hey, sweetie. You gonna play? Anyway, a short little uh, beautiful self-care reminder this morning for each of you. And I tell you, I, I did exactly that. I journaled, I meditated, I cleaned the house, I took a shower, I put on makeup, got myself dressed, and I'm taking this beautiful walk and I feel a million times better. And I know that from this place, my entire day is now reset. My energy is reset. The 
energy that I put out there is coming from a much better place than it was earlier today or yesterday. And that is the importance of taking responsibility for our energy and for how we feel. <laughs> we may not be able to manage our emotions in every moment, but we can take the emotions that we have. We can get to the deeper truth of them and then we can reset and come back to that place of homeostasis so that we're not letting that one feeling from early in the day affect the rest of our day and the rest of our interactions with people around us. And I tell you, my love, if you practice this one tip, it will radically shift the way that people show up for you and show up and how your man shows up for you and just put you into a place of so much more flow and peace and love. Have a beautiful start to your day. Mwah. Let me know how that works out for you. Thanks for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Relax Into Love podcast. If you are loving what you're hearing, definitely pop me a love note and share this with a friend. Share this with someone who you know could really use this message today. And let's keep spreading the love. Until next time. Mm-hmm.